Suppose x is an irrational number and y is any real number. Show that at least one of x plus y or x minus y is irrational. Okay, well let's just figure out exactly what we have to show. At least one of those two numbers is irrational. So at least one means one or more. So we need to show that one or more of those numbers is irrational. So that would mean that one of them is irrational or they're both irrational. So want to show one of x plus y, x minus y is irrational or both x plus y, x minus y is irrational. Now, from what I've seen before, most proofs that involve irrational numbers are proofs by contradiction. So I'm just going to remind myself about how proof by contradiction works. So, let me see if I've got this right. In a proof by contradiction, we have some things that you know at the beginning. So, we know B is true. Okay. And then what we want, so we want to show A is true. Okay, and so what we do in a proof by contradiction is we assume A is false. So we assume the opposite of what we want to show. That's that, I think that's how it works. Yep, and then what you do is you do a whole lot of working. of some sort and at the end you come down to showing something that you know is wrong okay so you come down to something that's stupid so in the end we get so B is false alright but that's actually wrong because we know that B is actually true so um, but B is true, so actually A can't be false, because if it was false that would mean that B was false, and we know that B is true, so A is true. And that's the end of the proof. That's how proof by contradiction works. So. Um, proof by contradiction. Okay. Cool. So I know the general structure that I ought to be working within. Let's go back to my original question. So we want to show that 1 of x plus y or x minus y is irrational, or both of x plus y or x minus y is irrational. So I need to assume that that is false. So assume the opposite of that. So what's the opposite? One or two are irrational. So, well, at least one. The opposite of that would be less than one. So that would be zero. So assume that neither are irrational. So assume neither of x plus y or x minus y is irrational. Well that must mean we're assuming that both of them are rational. That is both of x plus y or x minus y is or well, are I suppose for grammatical. Oh sorry about that. Let's try that again. Both of x plus y or x minus y are rational.
rational. Well, what does it mean to be rational? It means that you can write them as a fraction. The definition of a rational number is that it can be written as a fraction where the top and bottom are both integers. So let's do that. Let x plus y be equal to m on n and x minus y be equal to r on s where all of these things are integers for m, n, r, s integers. Right, now what? Now let me have a look at my proof by contradiction. So I do some working and somehow I show something is false that I actually know is true. What do I know is true? I know that I know that x is an irrational number and I know that y is a real number. That's all I know. Well, I don't really know anything about y, it's just a real number, so that one's not going to be helpful. So I need to, that's what I know to be true, that's my b, I know that x is irrational. So I need to show the, that that's actually false. So I want to show that x is rational. So that's what's going to be my second last line. So how do I get x to be rational? Well, I could at least try and get x equals. I could get x equals if I added these two equations together because that would cancel out the y. So adding gives. So we've got x plus x would be 2x y minus y would be 0 and m on n plus r on s. Now to add fractions I get, uh, I have to put them over a common denominator so that would be m s over n s and then I multiply this one by n r n over s n m s plus r n over n s and that would mean that x is equal to m s plus r n over 2 n s and look the top of this is an integer integer there and the bottom is also an integer so this is a rational number so therefore x is rational so let me start a new page but we know that x is actually irrational yes so but x is irrational okay so there's my contradiction contradiction therefore um, the thing I wanted to show must be true therefore at least one of x plus y and x minus y is irrational. And that should be the end of my proof.